Balfour was not just a declaration, but a process. A process that paved the unfortunate way for the dispossession, oppression and injustice of the Palestinian people. Today, Israel's colonisation of Palestinian lands continues. Palestinian refugees remain dispossessed and millions of Palestinians are still displaced today. While Palestinians mark this day as the most disastrous state in history that resulted in the loss of their land, displacement and occupation, Britain, Israel and its supporters instead mark this day as a joyous celebration. We are proud of the role that we played in the creation of the State of Israel and we will certainly mark the centenary with pride. Celebrating the historical trauma of Palestinians and British imperial crimes, a dark chapter of Britain's colonial history. 103 years of British responsibility has passed and the British government are yet to possess the moral courage to apologise and take responsibility for their actions and their role in the ongoing predicament of the Palestinians. Palestinians remain victims of the shameful support of Western governments, from the UK Balfour Declaration to the US Embassy move to Jerusalem. This is a reminder that the Zionist movement was only able to advance its goal of establishing a Jewish state in Palestine with the support of a Western colonial power. And today, Israel is only able to persist in systematic violations of international law because of the backing, again, of powerful Western allies, especially, of course, from the United States. But Palestine was not Balfour's to so casually grant to someone else. And as a British Palestinian living in Britain, I will always ask myself, what right did they have to give away my homeland?